Let's DIY and decorate for Halloween on a budget. Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. The dollar store, whether it is Dollarama here in Canada or Dollar Tree, is one of my favorite places to shop for Halloween decor because we like to keep it simple, just do a little vignette maybe on the mantle, on a table outside, and keep it a little bit fun and cute for the kids. As you probably know if you followed along on this channel for any period of time, I don't love super gory or scary Halloween decor. I tend to keep it on the lighter side, a little bit cute and fun. So that's what I'm gonna share in today's video. We're gonna do some DIYs for Halloween, some decor ideas, all with stuff from the dollar store so it is nice and budget friendly. So let's get started. I don't think you have to decorate every square inch of your home every season in order to make an impact. I think it works just as well to choose one or two small spaces in your home to decorate seasonally, and that's what I'm doing here. I chose to decorate our fireplace mantle for Halloween. I found this creepy cloth at Dollarama, that's the dollar store here in Canada, and thought it would look great draped over the mirror in the middle of our mantle. My girls loved it too because they thought it looked like a spider's web. I found this light at Dollarama as well and I loved how it had the black wire frame and how it had the battery operated LED light. I use a lot of this double sided tape in decor, I'd recommend grabbing a roll. It's fantastic when you want to tack things down and easily remove them later. I'm using the double sided tape to tack down this creepy cloth around our mantle to drape exactly where I want it to go and then we also used it to attach little faux spiders around the display as well. My girls are helping out with the Halloween mantle this year and I love including my girls in decorating because I think that is so much fun. I grabbed these dead branches from outside in our yard. I thought they looked nice and creepy. And of course I love incorporating nature and decor because it is free and it also adds that nice textured element. This letter board I found at Dollarama and it was $3. Now there are tons of clever Halloween sayings you could put on a letter board, but here is ultimately the one that I decided on. I took this little boo sign and I put it beside our mirror in the center of the mantle and I loved how it looked. I found these little creepy crawly insects at Dollarama as well and decided to go ahead and paint them with black acrylic paint. I'm keeping the colors monotone on our Halloween display this year, so just blacks and whites. And I think that's a great way to make your Halloween decor look a little more elegant is to choose a color scheme of one or two colors rather than a rainbow of colors. Of course, if you want to do colors, go for it, but if you want a little bit more of a glamorous look, just choose one or two. These picture frames are from Dollar Tree, and I glued some old book pages on the backing of them, and I'm also taking my hot glue gun and gluing the painted bugs on top of the book pages. Next I'm putting this creepy crawly artwork back inside the frames and this is a very inexpensive way to create a really interesting piece of art for Halloween. Another idea is you could spray paint the bugs in gold or a metallic for a totally different look. I'm adding these to our Halloween mantle. They'd also look fabulous as wall art.
We took some more of that double-sided paint and put some of these little spiders we found at Dollarama onto some white pumpkins and I love how they turned out. That was actually my six-year-old's idea. This next DIY is probably my favorite of this whole Halloween vignette this year. I grabbed some cheesecloth and I cut it up into squares. I love that cheesecloth is a very inexpensive option, plus it has that creepy look with the open weave. I'm cutting nine squares, but you can cut as many squares as you like. We're gonna make a little ghost banner. So depending on the length of the banner, you're gonna wanna create less or more of these little ghosts. Don't worry about cutting everything really evenly. The more frayed and buried your edges, the more creepy these little ghosts are gonna look. Now to make these, grab some small styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree or Dollarama and wrap the square of cheesecloth around them. Then you can tie them like this with some butcher's twine and then grab a Sharpie or I'm using this little Cricut black pen and draw on some little ghost eyes and a mouth. So cute. So like I mentioned before, I made nine of these and I'm drawing on all of their little faces. And then I grabbed this jute twine from Dollarama and measuring out about 12 inches from the end and then taking some hot glue, applying it to the top of the first ghost's head and putting it onto the twine just like this. This way they stay in place nicely and they're really easy to adhere to the twine. So I put my ghosts about six inches apart. You could make yours further apart or closer together. This is completely up to you. And then I left about a foot of the excess twine at the end. To tack this to my mantle, I'm using more of that white colored double-sided tape. And then I'm just putting the end of the twine on the tape on each side. Now I'm going ahead and just kind of rearranging everything. I also found this little house shaped piece from Dollarama and painted it with a black acrylic paint. The little crows are from Dollarama as well and so are these LED lights. We also put a little bit of Halloween decor on our living room table. I made this little candle last year and we found this crow at Dollarama and I'm using some of these faux books and some more pumpkins. Here's how our little coffee table grouping looks on the living room table. And here is how our creepy but cute Halloween mantle turned out. There's a lot of stuff on here, but I think the black and white look helps keep it nice and coherent. I love the cute little touches and that my daughters helped me decorate this whole thing. Adding some twinkle lights with that lantern from Dollarama as well as the LED lights makes it look really fantastic at night too. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope you got some ideas for your own Halloween decor this month. Let me know down in those comments below which of these ideas was your favorite. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy and watch next right up here.